Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from Speaker of the Council of Representatives Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal following the decision of the Board of Trustees of Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary direct doctorate in appreciation of His Majesty's efforts and role in promoting peaceful coexistence as well as interreligious and intercultural dialogue. Zainal extended her sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King, expressing the great pride of the people of Bahrain for granting His Majesty an honorary doctorate from a prestigious Russian university, which confirms His Majesty's readiness and keenness and firm belief in supporting and promoting the values of coexistence and dialogue. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from the Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh following the decision of the Board of Trustees of the Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary doctorate in recognition of His Majesty's noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and cultures. Al Saleh affirmed that the international honoring crowns the progress march led by His Majesty the King, entitling Bahrain to reach a distinguished status and enjoy Arab national and international respect and appreciation. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the good participation of the Bahraini jockey Adnan Al Alawi in the annual Royal Windsor Festival for the show jumping competition. His Highness noted that his participation exhibits the interest of the jockeys to shed light on the Bahraini sport of show jumping. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the participation of the jockey Adnan Alawi in the Windsor Festival will be a motivation for Bahraini riders taking part in foreign competitions and participations. His Highness wished Al Alawi success in his upcoming participations. Adnan al we managed to achieve a good result in the festival as he earned a five-star rating in the Michelin bun run with the horse Balo achieving sixth place amid the participation of the best 30 elite riders. The Royal Team is the official sponsor of the show jumping runs at the festival and one of those runs is the His Majesty the King's five-star competition. Adnan al is preparing to take part in the Grand Prix competition for a height of 160 meters. This competition qualifies for the World Championship for the 10th rank rider in the Grand Competition and the riders who finished a round without mistakes in the same competition, which Al Alawi has high chances to qualify for the World Championship according to the high potentials of the horse Palu. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya bin Abdullah Zainal, extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's success in maintaining the Tier 1 status in the United States State Department's report on trafficking in persons for the fourth year running. Zainal affirmed that the distinguished international achievement is the fruitful outcome of His Majesty the King's sound directives and close follow-up of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. She indicated that Bahrain's remarkable progress in promoting human rights and combating trafficking in persons at the international level is the result of the human rights culture prevailing in Bahrain. She added that Bahrain's global honor is living proof of the success and distinction of the national strategy to promote human rights and combat trafficking in persons based on the humanitarian and civilizational principles and in line with the relevant international standards and recommendations. She asserted that Bahrain's model in combating trafficking in person has become a leading example on the international level thanks to the reforms of the labor market, noting that it is a success story achieved thanks to the interest of His Majesty the King the follow-up of the government and led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the continuous executive legislative cooperation. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al Saleh, has extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on Bahrain's success in maintaining the Tier 1 status in the U.S. State Department report on trafficking in persons for the fourth consecutive year. The Chairman of the Shura Council stressed that his qualifications 
classification is considered a high level humanitarian civilized qualitative and international achievement and the kingdom maintains it for the fourth year in a row as a leading country in the Middle East and North Africa region. It also reflects faith and honor for the efforts and achievements of His Majesty the King and His Majesty's roles in strengthening the system of security and stability at the regional and international levels. He also extended his sincere congratulations on this occasion to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, expressing great pride in this international achievement. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, praised the Kingdom of Bahrain's achievements in combating trafficking in person, which was reflected by maintaining its position in Tier 1 status in the U.S. State Department report on trafficking in persons for the fourth year running year. The Minister of Justice emphasized that the civilized and human development came as an embodiment of the royal vision of consolidating human rights, protecting freedoms, ensuring quality before the law without discrimination and providing fair remedies. The minister praised the pioneering role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his continuous follow-up which resulted in unifying and strengthening efforts and coordinating the work of the competent authorities to combat trafficking in person. Deputized by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Rashid Azayani, received the decision of the Board of Trustees of the Moscow State University for International Relations to award His Majesty the King an honorary directorate in appreciation of His Majesty the King's noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among various religions and culture. This came when the Minister of Foreign Affairs met the President of the University, Dr. Anatoly Torkunov, in the presence of the Undersecretary of the Minister of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Russian Federation, Ambassador Ahmed Abdurrahman Al Saati, a number of members of the university's educational staff, and the delegation accompanying the Foreign Minister. On this occasion, the Foreign Minister delivered a speech in which he conveyed His Majesty the King's greetings and appreciation to the university's board of trustees for the decision to grant his majesty an honorary directorate doctorate in appreciation of his majesty's noble role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue amongst cultures and religions the foreign minister added that the humanitarian vision of his majesty the king culminated in a historic decision to declare support for peace with the state of israel and to sign the abraham principles agreement based on his majesty's belief that peaceful coexistence among nations and people of monothetic religions called for and that the peace is the safe path to achieve security stability and prosperity for the benefit of all the people of the region the Minister of Foreign Affairs pointed out that His Majesty King firmly believes that calling for peace is the correct approach to achieve safety, tranquility and happiness and avoiding misery. And this is a wise vision from a wise leader who drew lessons from history to lead his country on the path of goodness and development. He called for peaceful coexistence, dialogue among religions and brotherhood among the people of the world. Dr. Anatoly Turkinov expressed the pride of Moscow State University of International Relations in awarding His Majesty the King the Honorary Direct Doctorate in appreciation of His Majesty's pioneering role in promoting peaceful coexistence and dialogue among different religions and cultures and his efforts to support security, peace and stability in the Middle East as well as the whole world. He expressed the university's board of trustees pride that His Majesty the King is a holder of an honorary doctorate from Moscow State University of International Relations. Noting that a number of internationally prominent figures from heads of state and government have been awarded this certificate. He expressed his pride in the close relations between the two friendly countries and wished the Kingdom of Bahrain continued progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Rashid Aziani, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Lavrov, yesterday held a session of official talks within the framework of the working visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs to the Russian Federation. During the meeting, the Foreign Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Russian President Vladimir Putin and His Majesty's wishes of continued progress and prosperity. 
for the Russian Federation and its friendly people, stressing his happiness over the strength of the relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Russian Federation and the growth of the bilateral cooperation in various fields within the framework of the directives of His Majesty the King and the Russian President and the great interest they show in strengthening the friendship and cooperation between them in the various services which serve the interests which Dr. Azayani affirmed that the keenness of Bahrain to continue to enhance joint coordination with Russia in everything that could advance cooperation relations to broader levels to meet the common interests of the people and the countries and in a way that advances security, stability and peace in the region in light of the ongoing Middle East conflict that affect the development process in their countries. Sergey Lavrov welcomed the working visit of Dr. Azayani to the Russian Federation which embodies the distinguished relations of friendship and cooperation between the two friendly countries as well as a sincere desire to strengthen and develop them in various vital fields. The Russian Foreign Minister affirmed his country's desire to continue cooperation, consultation and joint coordination in various visits wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain continued progress on prosperity during the meeting. They also discussed cooperation and relations between the two friendly countries and the ways to enhance them in various fields and the Arab and regional political and security instability situations and the latest developments in the Middle East and the Eastern Mediterranean in addition to the issues of common interest. The meeting was also attended by the Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Ambassador Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Russia, Ahmed Abdurrahman Al Saati, and the delegation accompanying the Foreign Minister. On the other side, it was attended by a number of senior officials of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. After the talks, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Rashid Azayani, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, Sergei Lavrov, held a press conference following the session of joint official talks in the presence of the delegations of the two countries. The Foreign Minister expressed happiness at visiting the friendly Russian Federation, stressing the pride of the Kingdom in line with the close friendship that binds both countries under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin. Dr. Azayani said that both sides had discussed ways to develop bilateral cooperation in various fields, especially in the economic, investment, trade, cultural, as well as stressing the need to continue bilateral efforts to enhance friendship and co cooperation, intensifying exchange of visits and official delegations to explore opportunities for increased cooperation in various fields. He said that both sides had stressed the importance of holding the meeting of the Joint Committee for Bilateral Cooperation in Trade, Economy, Science and Technology, which is scheduled to be held its third meeting in the Kingdom of Bahrain at the end of this year, as well as the meeting of the Joint Business Committees, given the importance of the role it plays in supporting the contribution of the private sector in both countries in increasing economic, commercial and investment cooperation. The Foreign Minister underlined the Kingdom of Bahrain's appreciation of the existing cooperation between the two countries in regards to combating COVID-19, especially in the field of producing the Russian Sputnik V vaccine and providing it for use in the Middle East and North Africa. He added that the talks had also dealt with the developments of the political and security situation in the region, explaining that both sides stressed the importance of work and the concerted efforts to provide and spread peace and security in the region. The foreign minister affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain believes in peace and calls for its realization in the region as a whole, hence the call of His Majesty the King to achieve peace in the region and to instill hope in the youth. The foreign minister expressed the importance of the agreement and the joint action to achieve peace in the region, noting that this peace is based on a number of pillars, including the solution of the Palestinian state, stressing that the kingdoms of Bahrain's firm position calling for a solution to the issue based on the principle of two-state solution and the Arab Peace Initiative. As for the third pillar, it relates to dealing with the Iranian nuclear file. Azayani called for a safe region in which peace and stability are achieved and in which everyone of different races, creeds coexist and that it will be a region free of weapons of mass destruction. Sergei Lavrov expressed his pride in the meeting with the foreign minister, stressing that the decision dealt with opening new areas of cooperation between both countries, including the educational tourism and joint work between the parliaments of both countries, and discussing the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding in the field of peaceful exploration 
of open space, in addition to agreeing on more coordination between the two sides at various levels. The Information and E-Government Authority has reviewed its digital transformation strategy to include suggestions put forward through the National Suggestion and Complaint System, Tawasul, during 2020. IGA CEO Mohammed Al-Qaid expressed pleasure to see his much positive interaction with the beneficiaries, stressing that the authority is currently working on studying, reviewing and evaluating all the proposals it received during the period from January to June 2021 and to identify proposals that have the greatest impact on community service, which can be implemented during the current year. The IGA has thoroughly reviewed the total of 205 suggestions it has received carefully crafting a digital transformation strategy that optimizes operations. The IGA has performed a needs analysis to identify areas with the strongest potential for digitization with priority given to projects with quick wins in order to maximize the customer satisfaction. The COVID-19 pandemic has also helped identify areas of need for digitalization and dependence on e-services along with the number of services providers has increased from 470 to 500. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry welcomed the announcement of the liquidity fund that will start receiving requests for funding from the private sector companies and institutions as of the 1st of July in partnership with the national joint stock banks. The Chamber of Commerce and Industry recommended the role directives to launch the financial and economic package to face the repercussions of the corona pandemic and the decision of the Council of Ministers, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to reopen registration for the liquidity fund. The Chamber stressed that reopening the registration door again helps people and companies of all sizes to provide credit support to overcome the challenges of the current stage in which the face of the outbreak of the virus. At the same time, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry pointed out that despite the repercussions, there is optimism about Bahrain's ability to continue its development path towards a promising economic future in line with Bahrain's economic vision 2030. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain will host the first sports cardiology conference under the theme Athletes Heart, co-organized by the Ministry of Health and the Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Cardiac Center in cooperation with the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports. The conference will be held on December 24th, from the 2nd to the 4th of December 2021, with the participation of sports cardiology specialists from Bahrain, the Middle East, and a number of other countries. Dr. Adel Khalifa, consultant cardiologist and interventional cardiac electro physiologists indicated at the Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Cardiac Center and chairman of the conference organizing committee that the conference will be held in line with His Highness Sheikh Nasser's directives to study the causes of sudden deaths at walkways and sports halls. He indicated that the committee recommended holding the sports cardiology conference which is the first of its kind in the region. Dr. Adel Khalifa added that the conference's organizing committee will launch a nationwide campaign on the basics of practicing sport and protecting hearts, noting that the campaign aims to spread society's awareness among citizens and educate them about the causes of the sudden death during the exercise, as well as to prevent them. The details of the campaign will be unveiled during the coming days. He affirmed that the conference aims to strengthen Bahrain's regional and international status, as well as enrich Bahrain's health plans and programs. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 993,896 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 78,784 had taken the second shot. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,622. With 422 recoveries, 165 registered new cases and three deaths. 82 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 75 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. 
The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.